My name is Mark Baldwin and I'm here at Elliot Smith Dance Choreographing a new solo for them. I've known Elliot for a while, actually, a number of years, actually. Um, but I really had a good chat to him when he came to my exhibition at the beginning of 20, uh, 2019. I had my first solo exhibition, which had talks, which had workshops, um, and my paintings, which are about my family and mainly about movement and my ideas to do with choreography. So it was really good that he came and I had downstairs, I had lots of videos, um, and Elliot can see the videos. And uh, one of the impressions I was trying to give with the exhibition was that the paintings and drawings would fall off the walls. Um, and I used to improvise every afternoon, which just about killed me actually. <laughs> um, and, uh, and people would come and say hello, or they'd just walk in off the street. Um, and it really is the instinct for moving the instinct to develop that natural human facility to dance and to embrace rhythm. Uh, and also, uh, I did quite a lot of Graham training in my youth, and I know Elliot really likes that technique, which has disappeared um, over a number of years, but it, it's come back. But the luminary for Graham technique um, at the moment is with Elliot Smith. I have been working on a piece uh, based on the music of The Messiah by Handel. Um, and actually, uh, when I was director of Rombe, the, my swan song, if you like, was a piece called The Creation, which was all of Haydn's The Creation. You know, uh, a piece of Baroque music, which is about an hour, you know, almost two hours long, over two hours long, was. Uh, and I think that's really great to try and tackle something like that. A Baroque piece of music, it's still full of dance rhythms, it's full of tunes, and especially the Messiah, it's absolutely full of tunes. It's also extremely English, and I quite like things which are extreme in a way. So uh, when I came to this solo, which fits like a jigsaw puzzle into the other movements I've made for other dancers, for other groups, and so eventually I hope to put it all together and it's about 2 hours 40 so I need a huge variety of work because you know, it's interesting for the audience but I also uh, really like this idea of unity in the times that we live in Yes, that in this vocabulary that Yamat and I have come up with you know, the body stretches, it also collapses. There's also moments when he doesn't do anything at all and the music plays. Um, and so you're looking at a whole range of dynamics. And I think you need to sit, see the whole thing so that you can be a witness, if you like, to, to those overlaying dynamics in the dance, uh, as well as the music. I mean, the recordings that we have today of, of this music are quite exceptional. Um, and I think it was a famous choreographer, oh, Balanchine, who said if you don't like the dance, you can always close your eyes and listen to a really good concert. Um, well, you could turn the sound off and watch some great dancing, like this one. Uh, so, you know, it plays backwards and forwards. But, but actually, you know, when you take on a piece of music like this, it's taken me a couple of years to get here, um, maybe three or four. So I've been listening to it for a long time and just trying to find out uh, where I can get in and when, where I can leave it alone. So a lot of me is actually firing on instinct because I've listened to it for such a long time. Mm -hmm. 